Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Andy here at Matt Dowdy, O'Neill Designs Place, and uh, he's uh, going to talk to us for a couple of minutes about what he's doing, what's going on. How are you doing? How are you doing, Matt? Good, good, man. <laughs> right. Glad right to on. help you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks so much for welcoming us in here. appreciate that. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. awesome to see you uh, on, on this side of the world for yeah. once. It's kind of crazy. It's just weird. You keep re-registering you. I keep expecting to be at the Super Festival or something. Yeah, we'll always be there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, in September. September okay, the next yeah, one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're still going out to Japan? Yeah, yeah. We're going to still do the uh, September trip. Not going to do San Diego um, this time, but we'll be in New York in October. So we're just going to kind of keep doing the East Coast thing. The West Coast thing's still awesome. It's just, need to just uh, keep focus the energies over here right on. for a little bit too. Yeah. So, so what's going on with uh, NL Design these days? Um, we're just keep moving forward with the uh, the vinyl stuff with some new uh, PVC, the new hub set, and then a hub set for the vinyl stuff too. And uh, just, you know, cranking along, working with our favorite collaborators and, and finding new things to do. Um, just enjoying, you know, making toys and right. talking to everybody. So it's the same old thing, you know, yeah. but with slightly new little... Uh, little parts to it actually I'm I've been working on this uh, Michelle's old character Nobato for anybody out there who ever follows the these things on the blog and uh -huh. and we're starting to think about um, finally after years um, putting this guy into production so you know it's it was it's the true companion to Gobon this little guy from from Michelle's monsters vs. robots so right on. it's kind of funny that he's yeah I'll turn Can you hold it up yeah, he's you got to bring it a bit closer yeah, yeah. There he is. His foot decides to fall off, but yeah, yeah. fantastic. Thank you. There he is. Right on. Little, another another bald character. <laughs> Big surprise. And then you know I've actually been kind of futzing around with some um, human heads. Uh, anybody who's been here around here knows I've been kind of torturing myself with with these guys. But this is a kind of a, a humanoid head. Cool. That I'm thinking pretty soon is gonna go we're gonna stuff it in a mold somewhere I I just really I'd love to see something like this especially you know when you get stuff from Joe and you know the old exo squad stuff mm. you know and this kind of thing I it's it's time we get a we want to get a female in there and a human you know both sides of it it's just it's tough to squeeze them in there when it's the temptation to do builder sets like the hub set and things like the axis joints that that's always it always overrides the these other little projects, but I think uh, I think we're almost there. We're right at the point where we're gonna go and uh, and get some humans into the mix, humanoids, yeah. whatever. So how how have things changed in like in the last year or two? Or so what do you think in, in what you're doing and how the scene's going? Um, you know, I, I we we've survived the kind of economic roller coaster that everybody's been on. Um, we've been very lucky, and we have awesome supporters and just really passionate people that get behind the stuff allow us to do it um that's actually seems like it's gotten more intense um the, the people that we communicate the you know all of you guys out there that keep us going um the support's just been awesome and uh we tried to keep things fresh some of these vinyl projects are a little wonky like um the block was one of the <laughs> one of the kind of experiments that I I just I had no idea how the hell it was going to go over. It seemed like the first round seemed like it did all right, and, and um, that was kind of a risky, weird one. Literally a immobile, well, almost a mobile hunk of of vinyl. But it, it's stuff like that that keeps this interesting. Also on this side of it, you know, I if we don't, you know, if I can't experiment on certain things within the realm of reason. It gets a little bit stale, you know, and mm. I think that's for anybody, you, you know, it's like if you work at a pizza place, you know, you might want to try to make a different thing or a special or something. It's, it's a little spice. It, it's that way for everything. So it's, it's no different for, for us or for me and doing this. I, I love it. I love it as much as I did when, you know, playing with toys as a child. It's never changed. I've, I, in fact, I think I, I like it more every year. Um, it doesn't mean I'll always make the the, the most uh, agreeable products or whatever, but try to keep everything in mind. You know, I do, and 
you know, when Mark and I are talking about stuff, and Michelle and I, and Jesse and I are collaborating on a production level stuff, or, you know, we always try to come to some sort of common ground, and usually that's a good test for what happens out there. Um, but it's it's still fun. I, I love it. And as far as the, the whole year goes, we've, we've expanded with more stuff with our, you know, the, the boys in Jersey, the horsemen, and, and uh, you know, Spy Monkey. Um, you know, those guys are... You know, they're brilliant and they, they bring a lot to the table. Just we're slowly, slowly trying to just find the avenues that make this work and it makes it exciting on a very subtle level. It just another toy line that it makes sense to do um, with the glios pins. You know, it's we go for it. And uh, the production level seems like it's, it's staying on track. And the horseman stuff is just the paint jobs on them have just been phenomenal. I mean, it's. I love seeing that, and then Jesse's warp bikes. You know, these everything's just in a good spot. <laughs> these things are. Uh, this was really, it was a dream come true for both of us. I mean, done the custom cores for a number of years, and I never really thought we'd get to the point where we would be able to do something like that in production. I maybe mean, I was just naive about it, but I it just. I didn't dawn on me to do it that way. It's, I didn't think it was something that was viable per se, but Jesse, you know, he really wanted to do it and we're all better for his persistence on pushing it through. I mean, it's, the, the figures are cool and it's different and it tipped Colgram in a different direction, which is, which makes it better for everything. You don't want to just carve and copy every little thing. The horsemen kind of do. They have their stamp on it. Spy Monkey has their stamp on it. Jesse has his stamp on it and, you know, we have our stamp on it, you know, kind of being at the ground level. So we keep it simple and keep it cheap, as cheap as can be with all the, the rising costs on things. But yeah, it's, I'd say the last year was, that was the main thing. That was, it's just a little bit of expansion in a fun, good way, in a, in a relevant way. Not just, we won't expand for the sake of expanding stuff. It's, it's no point. Cool. You know, yeah, but anyways, uh, outside of that, just chugging along. Yeah, you know, right on. Got any out. shows or events coming up? Um, nothing real. I mean, we might something might pop out at uh, um, around the time, ironically, of of uh, San Diego Comic Con. We'll do an online release around the time, like we've done historically. The, the next sort of series of travels are going to happen in September and October. Um, during that time, we're just going to keep, you know, putting things into production over here, getting everything squared up, and you know, the, again, like the the horsemen, and uh, they have some really cool stuff going on. Actually. Um, knee stuff has some interesting things happening behind the scenes um, some new projects he's working on and we're kind of collaborating a little bit on but he's he's moving to another place where he I mean meaning ahead with his uh, anomalies line and uh, and Banimon, um my, my buddy Boris he's moving into production on a figure so we were working on that and um, there's even talk of um, Marty my my buddy Marty coming out with a production piece as well um he's been working hard and um oh and, and it looks like we're going to move ahead as well on the armivore which is is a collaborative piece between uh, jason fraley marty hansen and i um and and actually nate newell too um he's put a lot into his time into it as well from dork dimension um it, all the stuff we do is at this point it's it's got so many different influences and people working on it it's it's hard to claim and you don't really want to claim anything as just you know one person's thing you know identity is important but the community that creates this stuff is is the only reason it's accepted so it's we just kind of all just kind of have fun making stuff as long as we can sustain what we're doing mm. then we'll just keep doing it this way it's 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 you know and i see the stuff going on in japan too and and the, and the stuff that you've covered with um and ricky and luke and it's in the stuff they're doing helping people here you know manufacturing their stuff we kind of do that on a pvc level with with the u.s guys and and it's it's a similar sort of thing i think that's why there's a there's just sort of a there's a vibe like we had talked about earlier it's kind of a vibe happening where um almost original properties are surfacing and right. and uh and because we're capable of doing things in production different than it was before even though the prices are higher mm. it, it doesn't mean that you can't do it so okay. i think it's happening on both sides of the world fantastic you know? i hear you kids so let's let's yeah. wrap up bubba that's cc base doing something super dangerous so come on up
Don't do that. <laughs> Come on up. You want to be on the camera? <laughs> she, oh my God. Come up quick. Yeah. Come up quick, quick, quick. And these are uh, this is one of Matt's daughters Come here. coming on. Uh, Michelle, come here. Oh. <laughs> Matt's got the, the real family the, the and his real, wife coming the, along. The okay. boss. Yeah, okay. right. Hey, look, look in there. Say hi to say the hello. internet. Say hi. You can have a burger if you say hi. <laughs> yeah. No? No burger? Yeah, she is not shy, except I guess right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I am shy. Oh, you are shy? All right, thanks. <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah. fantastic. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Thanks for meeting with us, man. Yeah, yeah. I hope your readership doesn't plummet. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. See thanks, you. man. Thanks for sharing your time. Thanks, Andy. All right, man. Oh, I didn't realize you guys.